Hey guys, this is GameZone. Welcome to my channel. So the new update for Diablo Immortal came out and that actually brings a lot of changes inside the game. Like the old material is actually useless now. And if you are the guy who was actually farming a lot and preparing yourself for the new update and hoarding all that material for the new patch that is now live then you know by now that is actually useless so we have to farm all over again so that means we have to get in the field and find the most efficient way to get ourselves all sort of material and this is where things actually get interesting that i have noticed all day long today when i was raising my paragon level because i really hate the green bar as a content creator it doesn't really suit me so but anyways i was farming dungeon a lot and i noticed a lot of stuff has changed meaning i have been noticing a lot of uh, elite spawn in every single dungeon mostly kickers rapid if you're running to the boat you will notice that you can actually encounter one two or sometimes five of the elites just the way to the boat that is how much the difference is so what does this mean well if you would i mean see this like this way uh Previously, when we wanted to farm a lot of elite, we had to go outside in zones and find them and delete them so that they can actually give us better loot. But now we are actually seeing that same pattern here in dungeons. We are actually encountering a lot of elites and that means we are actually going to get better quality of loot and on top of that we actually don't need to stop anymore meaning the blacksmith is already available inside the dungeon once we defeat the final boss he always spawns so we can just keep up the pace and just keep going and going and going until you don't feel like stopping and you can either do this solo or in the four player party but right now as the patch actually came out i would suggest you to go with the party for many reasons one that you are still upgrading your combat rating and you are going in higher uh, hell difficulties meaning the enemies will feel stronger now so that your damage might be dipping down after health five so going with the party has the best option right now the second uh, reason is it will save you a lot of time so you don't have to go out in the f in the free zones party up for getting 12 gems that you actually get every single day so you can actually trade them in the market you don't have to do that either and the third reason is while getting a lot of material this way because we will be facing ancient yellow elite uh, blue elite and they will be dropping a ton of this material you don't have to go out so you will be getting yourself legendaries as well good material as well on top of that you will also get a wisp which we actually can use I mean the set item that you can actually use or you can actually salvage that into a wisp and you will still get one flowing shard and one wisp so that is actually time efficient for you in every single way and I actually know that everyone is actually doing these dungeons for speed runs so they can actually get set item not for the farming and that is why most people are just going to skip all these elites and get to the triggering point that is why there are actually two dungeons that are really actually good for farming material waves flowing shard gems four of these things and on of on on top of that when you are defeating elites remember you will also get extra 
XP from him, meaning you will be gaining a lot more XP inside the dungeons now because you will be facing harder enemies. And on top of that, now since we are in hell 6, 7 and above, you'll get more gold. Uh, yeah, you'll get more gold. That's it. I thought there will be something else, but nothing came in my mind. But anyways, you'll get more uh, gold as well and then there are actually two dungeons which actually force you to delete all those enemy the first one was the forgotten tower where you have to actually defeat at least 100 enemies for those bonus chests and if you see that chest they are going to be one total five chests and in the middle there is going to be the biggest chest when you are playing with the party i don't remember the name so there are actually going to be a lot of chests there in Forgotten Tower and you are actually being forced to delete those monsters. So that way it is farming efficient, time efficient as well, Forgotten Tower. Then Destructive End. Destructing, uh, destructive End is divided into uh, sequences which you have to complete otherwise the the fire will not get depleted or the zoltan ghoul will be waiting on you like come on man just uh, destroy the enemies so that i can get rid of the fire so destructive end is another dungeon which is actually good if you encounter a lot of uh, elite on the way you actually have to defeat them and no one can actually skip those destructive and uh, forgotten tower these two are the best right now for farming in my opinion then there is this kickers rapid you will see that how many elites were there but we actually skipped them just so that we wanted to be quick this is actually good but bad at the same time and you see a lot of material is uh, i mean you can see that you can get a lot of material but uh, from them but you actually skip them but at this point we do not we cannot afford to do that since everyone's starting from the same point and this is why i'm trying to bring this to your knowledge that if you guys are trying to get yourself flying shard wisp he wants to do your 12 uh, normal gems also he wants to get a lot of material do forgotten a uh, forgotten tower or do the destructive end and you'll be getting a lot of those things in just one place so that is actually a really good thing and beside that do your bounties do your best really, really one time and you'll be good to go and i guess that's it for the video yeah i hope you guys like it and if you guys have any question do let me know in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys